Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about table spaces. So, what is a table space? Table space is simply a collection of data files. Okay. So, for example, this table space is a group of three data files. Just remember that one data file can only belong to one table space. Okay. So, there's one too many relationship between data files and table spaces so one data file can only belong to one table space however one table space can contain one or more data files okay that was about uh, the physical structure that table space has data files okay on the logical side table space contains segments okay so this table space contains multiple segments, like eight segments here. A segment can uh, represent a table or like logical objects like table, indexes, etc. Alright? When you install Oracle, this is true for 10G and onwards, uh, minimum two table spaces are required. System and sysaux tab uh, table space. However, when you do a default installation, uh, during the installation, if you ask the system, uh, ask the installer to create a default database for you, it creates six table spaces. Let's talk about a special kind of table space called big file table space. Okay, so uh, in 11G onwards, you will be able to create a big file table space. What's a big file table space? Okay, it's a special kind of table space. What's so special about it? The maximum size could go up to 128 terabyte okay it's about 131,000 gigabytes okay and it provides transparent table space management to DBAs so what does that mean so what you can do is uh, once you group all the files into big f big file table space you don't have to worry about uh, the size and structure of underlining data files so you can treat the whole table space as one unit. Okay, uh, just to let you know, in coming tutorials, we will be installing Oracle and we will be doing lots of hands-on. Uh, so right now, just understand the concept part of things. Uh, so just try to grasp what table space is, what significance of big file table space, what significance of system table space, etc. etc. Once we install Oracle, then uh, you, once we do the hands on, you will refresh, uh, you will be able to recall all these concepts. Okay, so uh, that's okay if you can't uh, understand completely what big file is, it's enough if you can understand the concept. Okay, so big file is a special table space that lets you manage all the files within the table space as one unit. There is another uh, special table space that a DBA can create called temporary table space. The purpose of temporary table space is uh, to create, uh, to contain temporary uh, segments for s operations like join, union, and order by. Uh, if you haven't taken SQL tutorials yet, you can do that at sql02pro.com. Uh, when you uh, do sort operations in SQL, Oracle uh, needs some hard disk space uh, to do some temporary calculations. System memory is not enough, and uh, if temporary table space is not created in the in the database, then all the sort operations will be happening in system table space. System table space is mandatory. Every uh, database installation has a system table space. It contains other uh, Im important information as well, which we'll talk about in coming slides. Uh, and all the sorting will take place in system table space that can uh, cause contention. Uh, so what usually DBS do, they create separate temp table spaces just for the purpose of temporary uh, sort operations and they can assign these temporary table spaces to users uh, so that when they perform any join operations, sorting would take place in the temporary table space rather than system. Okay, uh, but again, it's optional to create it a dedicated temporary table space. By default, system table space is used as temporary table space. 
one thing you should know about temporary table space they are permanent in nature or as far as the table space is concerned but segments within this table space are temporary in nature they are created once the operation is about to be performed and they are removed when the, once the operation is has been performed okay so you know that table spaces contain segments uh, in it and uh, in regular table space a segment would be representing a table or an index but in temporary table space segment would be representing some sort of operation and these uh, segments are temporarily created but table space are temporary table space are permanent in nature segments within these are temporary in nature DBA should create a, a separate temporary table space if they want to avoid contention in system table space that will reduce IO contention between permanent and temporary objects okay uh, because if you don't create a temporary table space uh, t sorting would be taking place in system table space and there are permanent objects in system so IO contention uh, would be happening okay so let's talk about system table space system table space first of all is mandatory it has to be online all the time it's mandatory uh, in the system and it contains something very important data dictionary what is data dictionary it's a metadata metadata is data about data okay so what does that mean so for example when you create a table table definition is stored somewhere okay for example who created this table when the table was created what columns are there in the table and if you are if you are uh, no PLSQL programming when you create a procedure then the procedure name who created procedure what code would be executed if this procedure is executed uh, so all that information resides in, in in metadata or, or data about data okay uh, so the data dictionary is always sits on system table space okay just remember that uh, it's a special table space that is already created for you when you install uh, when you create a database space management let's talk about space management so ta table spaces can be either dictionary managed or locally managed okay we're talking about regular table space table spaces that contains data for users so uh, DBA can create uh, table spaces uh, um, most famous table space like usually uh, it's called user table space like created for so that users can create their objects in user table space okay it can be named anything so when a table space ca is created of course data files are also created along with the table space uh, then when you create table space then uh, you have to def decide is it dictionary managed table space or locally managed table space okay let's talk about dictionary managed table space you know for dictionary managed table space the space management or con or extent management uh, information is recorded in the system for example this is our dictionary managed table space and what extents are available what extents have been used where would the new information will, will be written all that uh, is stored in the t system table space about this dis uh, dictionary managed user table space so let's call this table space a user table space okay so if you perform any dml data manipulation operation okay DML stands for data manipulation language uh, if you perform any DML operation so uh, again if, if you have a, it's a good idea if you want to become a DBA you should have a good knowledge of SQL uh, structured query language so DML operations are if you want to update a table delete something from the table or uh, you know insert new records in the table they're all DML operations so if any DML operation is being performed on any object sitting in this user a table space which is a dictionary managed table space then uh, th the system will have to touch both table spaces because system table spaces will be touched to read uh, the extent management uh, information like uh, where should the new records be created etc etc and then eventually the original table space will be touched so that the operation can take place okay so this can result in potential bottleneck on the other hand we have locally managed table spaces in local locally managed table spaces all the extent management information resides within the table space as a bitmap uh, at the end of uh, 
uh, actually bitmap sitting within the data files. Uh, so exchange management information is, is residing within the table space to be accurate uh, within the data files. But since data files are within the table space, so we can say it's sitting in the table space. Only the quota uh, information, like what is the quota for each uh, you know, table space, is sitting on, on, the, on the system. So if you perform any DML operation on any objects in locally managed table space, then uh, the system will only have to touch one table space. Okay, so system table space doesn't have to be touched, so uh, that will be a faster performance. So it's all common sense thing so far. Okay, so uh, our approach is a step-by-step -step approach towards uh, learning Oracle database administration, and uh, I'll see you in next tutorial.